Justin Schultz tomorrow or, or after? Uh, Justin will be available uh, on Thursday for Thursday's game. Matt Murray going to start tonight? Matt is going to play, yes. What are you looking for out of Matt? Uh, we expect Matt to make timely saves for us to give us a chance to win. That's what we, we expect from all our goaltenders, and we're confident he can do that for us. At this point in the season, with you guys having a ton of games and a lot of practice time, is there anything else that can be installed in it for a while that was a challenge in developing your system? Uh, I'm not sure I understand your question. Just you were lacking practice time there when you first took over as coach. Do you yeah. have everything installed that you would like that? Well, well, I think you know. I think we have a comfort level with how we have to play and the details of our game in order to you know, to, to be as competitive as we can be and give us the best chance to win. Uh, I'm confident that we've accomplished that. Um, you know, certainly we've got a lot of games in a, in a short period of time here in the month of March. There's not going to be a lot of practice time. We're going to have to manage that accordingly so that uh, that our team has the energy to play in the games. How's Phil Castle been for you? Phil's been pretty good. I thought his line was good last night. He scored some goals as of late. He's been uh, dangerous in the power play. Um, you know, that, that's what he brings to our team. What's he like as, a, as far as being a coachable player for you? Oh, he's great. He's great. You know, he's, uh, you know, we, all of these guys have been very receptive to, to our message and what we're trying to, what we're trying to preach here. I think everybody's buying in. I think we're becoming more difficult to play against. Um, and that's going to be a constant process. Mike, what have you seen from the Cattle's young second liners for a couple of that's off? Well, they're talented guys. I think uh, you know that because Netsoff is having a tremendous year for them. He's a really skilled guy. I think um, you know it adds another dimension to their team this year. I think there there's a lot of balance there as far as uh, offensive production and, uh, and challenging uh, their opponents in that regard. So uh, you know certainly they're you know they are where they are in this game. for a reason. They have a lot of depth. On the ice, which how is your team different than the last time you faced the Capitals? I mean, that was your first game, but on the ice, what are the differences? Well, I think we're a lot we're a lot different team now than we were then. I think uh, you know I don't think our team, from a mindset standpoint, is as fragile as we were then. I think we're uh, I think we're a more resilient group. Uh, I think we try to play more of a speed game, so I think our team plays faster. Mm -hmm. uh, we were a very different team in that regard. So, but but I think the biggest difference, quite honestly, is just is just the mindset of our group. I think we're I, I think we're in a, a state now where we're we believe in the group. I think our players believe in it. I think uh, we've shown that when we play a certain way, that we can be a pretty good team and we can compete against anybody in this league. It's still a month and a half away, but if the season ended today, you'd be facing the Capitals in the first round. Can a game like this mean anything in setting a tone?